All right, this is interesting. I have been using Blender since 2015. Essentially, for seven years that I've I've had the program, the various different versions of it. But only today I found out that there is something called command line rendering in Blender, and it's a way where you can render without um, having to open up the uh, actual blender program through the graphical user inter interface and you can just render through the command line basically you go ahead and create your project the way you want to create it uh, set up everything just like you're getting ready to render it and then you close it and then you basically launch blender and the command line and it goes through and renders the frames without having to use up all the extra memory that the command that the graphical user interface uh, uses and so forth and not only is it a little bit quicker it's actually more stable as well I was having issues with um, um, flip fluids where the bake data would get out of sync with each other because there's all kinds of different bake files when it comes to flip fluids you have uh, bake data for like the the ISO surface for the fluid itself you have baked data for bubbles and foam and spray and stuff like that and also for the subdivision surface well you have all the all that baked data and the graphical user interface on blender tends to sometimes get glitchy and cause those things to get out of sync with each other and apparently this right here the using the command line prevents all that data from getting out of sync and it just renders so much better now so yeah uh, does, would anyone like to see a tutorial on how to go about setting this up with flip fluids it's very easy but with um, you know if you're not using flip fluids I would probably have to do a little research to be able to explain it very well uh, as far as or to teach it but yeah I, I think this is interesting because they I mean it's literally rendering right now but blender is not open down here so yeah let me know if you like to see a tutorial on command line rendering it's more efficient less glitchy and uses less uh, memory system memory I, I imagine it still uses pretty much the same amount of vram although it does now it's using a lot less vram too let me open up uh my gpu c and see how much vram it's actually using i it's using less because this it was using almost 5 gig uh, whenever I was trying to do this through the um, graphical interface of Blender, but through the command line it's using a little over 3. So it's using a little bit less, maybe 20% uh, less. But that's interesting, yeah. Anyway, let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial on how to set this up, and I will try to get one out. Later, people.